Hello, hello. How are you? Happy Saturday. I think we are live. <laughs> Not sure. I hope so. Hope everyone is doing well. Give me one second. Hold on. Say hello to each other. <clears throat> all right. Happy Saturday. Hope you guys are all doing well. Fun, fun times. Um, so glad to be back. Sorry that I had to cancel on Wednesday. I had stuff to show you on Wednesday. I was all ready. <laughs> so um, anyway, let me say hello to some people. Grindelia is here. Says good morning, everyone. How is everyone doing this beautiful morning? Doing good. Jamie Woodbury. <laughs> Jamie says, hello to you, Grindelia. <laughs> so cute. Sarah Louise says she's very well, thank you. Kate is here, hello, she made it on time. Catherine, bonjour. Catherine, you were on holiday, I think. Hope you had a nice holiday. Louise is here, hi Louise. Hello, Lynn. How are you? Um... Catherine says, plenty of tourists coming to enjoy the sea. That's good. Good news. Becky says, hi all. I'm watching on the big telly, so they won't comment along, but I hope you're all okay. Hey. Um, Catherine says, not yet, Jeanette. One week of school on the go. Louise says, hope you're feeling a lot better. I feel a lot better than Wednesday, so I'm very happy about that. Um... So yeah, thank you all for your well wishes. Really appreciate it. And thanks for being so nice and understanding <laughs> that I had to cancel. All right. <clears throat> so I wanted to do, it's funny because I don't know if you can hear the rain outside, but it's raining here and it's really dark and gloomy, which I love, which is fine. But I wanted to do some kind of like summer crafting um, just because I feel like that's one of the things that I always miss. It's one of my least crafted, like, seasons. Uh, I'm really good about autumn, pretty good about Christmas, and Valentine's Day pretty much is all year round for me. <laughs> and springtime, but for summer I always miss stuff. But, anywho, before we get, I wanted to show you my, like, I went through all of my stash trying to find things that were summery. Summery. <laughs> Uh, and so I found these two pieces of 12 by 12 cardstock, which are super cute. This one is uh, Oasis. So crepe paper Oasis, adorable. I don't know if I want to trim this up or if I want to leave it as is and make something with that. I don't know what I'm making yet, guys. <laughs> um, and then we have this one, which is from the Stargazer collection. Dear Lizzie, Stargazer. It felt summery to me. So I thought I would use that. So, anyhow, before I get on to that, Wednesday I wanted to show you this one. So this is um, a card that I made using the June Designer's Choice. This is called the Filigrees and Florals. It's an eight-piece die set, so it has different like little panels. So I made this card and uh, there's a video for it coming your way. I think maybe Sunday, I wanna say, perhaps. So it's gonna be on Tonic Studios TV, but I wanted to show you what I made. So I'll just give you a sneak peek. <laughs> I don't know if this is allowed. But um, I was able to make this like stitched belly band, uh, gatefold, oh sorry, gatefold card with a belly band. And this was all using the die set. So super fun card, so that tutorial. Um, if you are in the Jeanette Lane Lounge, I'll link the video when Tonic um, posts it. But I thought it was just a really fun die set. I'm really excited about this one. It creates like a little strip die. And then this one I'm so excited about. So this one has like a stitched uh, detail so it doesn't really cut into your card at all it just gives it that stitched effect which is how I did the belly band and I'm so excited about that because I don't know just it's just a really cool effect so I'm excited to use that die in other ways but anyway that's the filigree and floral die set and I have a link for you in the description I 
think there's a link. So if you're in the US or the UK, there's a different um, link for you, but exciting. I might use this die set today. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so let me show you what else I have in my summer stash. Back to summer crafting. Let me know if you're big on summer. Let me know if you're, you know, if you have a lot of summery kind of things. Summery, summery stash. Uh, I do not. I have a lot of Christmas stuff and springtime stuff, but summer just kind of just doesn't doesn't happen too often around here. <laughs> Hello, Bethany and Jane. She says, so glad you're feeling better. Thank you. We've got, what else did I miss? Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. <clears throat> Lynn says, I can hear your range in it very loud. <laughs> I know, I leave the windows open so I can hear it. Wendy says, getting ready to go out so I won't be commenting a lot either. No, Wendy, how are you, Wendy? Hope you're doing good. Hello, Helen Griffin, how are you? Catherine says she didn't have five minutes for craft pleasure this week, too busy at school. Hmm. You have one more week to go, I think you said. Maria slides in to see quickly, hoping teacher doesn't notice she's late. Oh, I definitely noticed, Maria. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Lynn says, like that card, I love the stitch effect. I thought the stitch effect was so good. Yeah, Maria, you're only six minutes late. You are fine. Maria says, hi, ladies. Hello, Jeanette. Great to have you back. Fun, fun, fun. Catherine says, Jeanette, when will the next All Together Crafting session be? Um, I don't know. That's a good question. Wendy says, I'm well, thanks, just got kicked out of <laughs> What? Um, Catherine, so, oh, for anybody that's new or maybe has not um, been like keeping up to date with stuff. We do, uh, like, I think it's like once a month, I do a crafty, um, <clears throat> crafty Zoom call uh, so everybody can see each other. And I think we've had two so far, or has it been three? I can't remember. Uh, but it's a really nice time because everybody uh, can see each other. You can put names to faces, faces to names. So that's really fun. And then, um, so yeah, I haven't hosted one in a while, so I'm thinking definitely should have one. I don't know when it, I think Nancy suggested that we do, if we could do a Saturday one, because a lot of people work during the week, when usually I have them on Thursdays. So Saturday would work, so maybe a Saturday coming up soon. I think next Saturday is, next Saturday, July 4th already? It is, how is this happening? Crazy. So maybe, I think July 4th would probably not work because everyone in the States would be getting ready for like barbecues or something. So maybe the 11th, July 11th would be nice. So that would be a Saturday and that would be in place of doing um, Saturday Live. So, so maybe the 11th, maybe that would work for people. Um, that would be really fun. It's just a really fun time. It's usually around two-ish hours. And we all just kind of craft, make something. I don't know what we would make this time, but it would be fun to kind of have a project that's the same. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> okay, so back to summer crafts. So that's what I pulled out of my stash for as, as mm, in regards to like paper. So this is the most summary paper that I could find. And then I have... Uh, where did it go? Oh, I have this, um, <clears throat> my sentiments wallet to my little storage wallet here, envelopes. I just found these on Amazon. I always get asked about where I got these envelopes. So if you just search like plastic, um, plastic envelope or plastic wallet, storage wallet, those should pop up. So I was going to look through here and see if there's anything that pops out that's kind of summary. 
and I can set that aside. I'm wondering if maybe I should start, like have a wallet that's just for summer. Valentine's Day. <laughs> um, see more Valentine's Day, lots of Valentine's stuff. That one is definitely summer. I think I remember cutting that from like, kind of collection, sweet friendships refresh the soul. That kind of feels summery because it's got that yellow vibe. Yellow sunshine vibe, yay, vacay, definitely. Oh yeah, we're getting summery now. And I don't remember what, what set this was from. Sorry guys. But it was definitely a paper. Um, I think I probably cut it by hand. So I think it was a whole sheet of paper with these sentiments on them. And I probably cut them up. Hello, sunshine. Definitely, see, more Valentine's Day kind of thing. So yeah, I think I definitely am gonna grab another, I think I have another one of these wallets somewhere that's empty and I can start putting my summery things in there just so that they're easy to find. Definitely summer, look at that, so cute. We'll put anything yellow in that pile. Um, it's so cute together. <laughs> That's adorable. Springtime, see? Lots of spring stuff, lots of floral stuff. Uh, let me know what season you have most of, like in your stash. Do you have like a really big Christmas stash? Do you have a really big fall stash? Um, I love this little bear, a little teacup, so cute. Yeah, for me it's like spring, Valentine's Day, Christmas, I have a whole tub of Christmas, which I would like to definitely do as much Christmas crafting as possible. Um, so maybe in July I'll, I might do like Christmas, <laughs> Christmas in July and really get into that because I have a huge Christmas stash that I need to get rid of. <laughs> That I need to use, not get rid of, but just use. How about this? Let's go. This is definitely Heidi Swap. Um, I don't know if it feels summery though. Maybe? Yeah. It has like a summerish kind of vibe. The good life, yeah. Okay. We'll go for summer. Use that. Use that for summer, 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 love. Ooh, this is cute. Welcome to Palm Springs on the road. That one almost doesn't feel summery because it's pink, but I'm gonna go for it because it's got that hot, like hot pink summer vibe going on. Um, <clears throat> here's another one, hi. That's cute. So I'm thinking I'm gonna make a really easy uh, mini album. So I'm gonna do really simple dimensions and then just kind of um, bind it with some binder rings, you know, those like loose binder rings, which I think I have somewhere in my stash. Ooh, this was very autumnal, I think. <laughs> All the Valentine's things, guys. <laughs> Oh, I love Valentine's Day. It makes me so happy. Happy, happy. <clears throat> Valentine's. Valentine's. Ooh, weekend getaway. Yay. Definitely summery. I think all these, these with like the um, botanical theme are from one sheet of paper. And then I trimmed them up. Uh, I usually get my 12 by 12, so these sheets, these big ones, I go, I shop at uh, Hey Little Magpie because you can buy individual um, papers. Because sometimes when I buy a whole pack, you know, like a pre, like a collection, gosh, <laughs> like, <laughs> I can't speak today. When you buy, when I buy a collection, there's times where I don't like, that's kind of summary where I don't like all of the papers that are included. Uh, and I'm really picky about paper patterns. And so I prefer to shop a la carte and just grab the, the ones, the sheets that I like. And there's often um, 
This one feels more springtime than summer. So there's often um, sales on Hey Little Magpie, so you can get one sheet for like 49p or whatever. And so I just like shopping a la carte when it comes to 12 by 12 paper. Prefer it. I prefer it because I know what I like. Do you know what I mean? I know what I like and I like, I want what I like. <laughs> oh. I've been meaning to like frame this one for years. <laughs> and let's read, oh, buffering, I see some buffering. Okay, so then the rest I think are just um, sentiments. So now that I've pulled, <coughs> excuse me, everything from the stash that I thought was very summery. Um, I can pull one more thing, which I don't know if I'm going to use, but it's definitely summery. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous stamp set from Creative Stamping Magazine. It's called Summer Holiday. So it's jam packed. I love this. I haven't used it. I think the only thing I used was this um, star stamp down here. It's so cute. So it's got a little caravan, an ice cream truck, which my daddy's an ice cream man, so I really like ice cream truck things. <laughs> Birds, a little like, what are these called? Like little changing huts where you change your clothes. Uh, a stack of suitcases, some more ice cream, um, ice cream bars ice cream cones, a cute little um, umbrella, sand castle, so nice, and then a barbecue grill, a beach chair, a tent, a stack of books, and a journal with a little hat. So, so cute. So this is an amazing stamp set. I haven't used it. Here's some inspiration in the background, in the back, sorry. So you can make some like camping cards. This one you are probably not gonna find you know, you're going to have to find it on eBay if you want it. It's just called Summer Holiday. Summer Holiday, Apple Blossom, Summer Holiday. So that was included in a magazine. So I recommend if you're going to subscribe to a magazine. I think my favorite one is Creative Stamping. Because you'll always get a jam-packed, jam-packed, um, what do you call it? Jam-packed stamp set with some great designs. So a good magazine to subscribe to. All right, let's see what you guys are seeing. Hello, Mary Dietrich, how are you? <clears throat> Hope you are doing well. Uh, let's see, sorry, I've been missing lots of comments. You guys are talking amongst yourself, which is always nice. Um, <laughs> chickens, Helen says her chickens are doing great, still growing. They, she's let them out into a larger area and they're very happy. Still, Helen is still scared of pigeons though. I'm more so scared of pigeons because they're like dirty. <laughs> it's like a germ, like a flying germ ball. I don't know. Um, let's see, chickens have earlobes, what, where, how is this possible, can you pierce their ears, <clears throat> Catherine says, okay, Jada, anytime will be perfect for the Zoom session, Wendy says, now that hubby's hawking bathroom, I can comment, <laughs> nice, Oh, a party. Maria says, Janice is a week before. I think my son's is the 12th and 13th and lots more in July. I can't remember all the dates. Yeah, lots of July birthdays. My birthday is next Monday. I love, love, love my birthday. So you guys will all be getting reminders. <laughs> uh, Wendy, do you remember the birthday stickers I made? <laughs> Oh, I think I've told you guys about this before. So when I was working at Sizzix, um, I made the team some planners. I designed some planner stickers with my birthday on them, like 
and it said like Jeanette's birthday, July sixth, and it had my phone number. <laughs> it said like please call, <laughs> please call me after like nine nine a.m. Uh, to wish me a to wish Jeanette a happy birthday. And so anyway, I got these all out and then had them had my team put the planner sticker, birthday planner reminder sticker in their planners. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, it was just a joke because I'm weird, but it was so funny. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you I'm gonna design a birthday sticker and you guys can print it up so you guys can put it in your planners and not forget my birthday because I love my birthday. Uh, hello, Rangdy Life is art. How are you? So yeah, July sixth party. <laughs> Dirty pigeon. Wendy says, ha ha, yes, you did. <laughs> ah, it was great. It was great. And then I didn't print enough, and, like, people wanted wanted one. <laughs> They're like, hey, how come I didn't get a Jeanette birthday reminder sticker? <laughs> I'm like, because I'm crazy, and I didn't want everyone to know how crazy I am. Time for popcorn, guys. Sweet and salty. Oh, it's time to talk about food. I'm having sushi today. I made some sushi rice just because it sounds good. So sushi time for me. Except no raw fish. Um, although I do like raw sushi. But it's hard to find sushi grade fish around here. So I um, don't want to get parasites. So, um, oh jeez, sorry. Um, so, um, what was I saying? No parasites. <laughs> uh, so we're just making like smoked salmon, cream cheese, avocado. What size should this be? Should we go with six by six? I want to keep it real simple, but also I don't want it too big. I'll do five by five. So I have a piece of craft cardstock. This is probably like 300 GSM. It's really heavy, so I want that to be my outside. Why does this look tiny? So that's five by five. Maybe I should have made it six by six. So that's gonna be our outside cover. Five by five. So we're gonna cut all my papers to five by five. And then I'm just gonna hole punch two two here. So one in there, just keep it real simple. For my little mini album. So let's trim this down to, I kinda want this to be the cover though. So let's do, so if that was five by five, I wanna make a little nice mat for that. So I'm gonna do maybe four, four and three quarters. Does that sound right for a mat? <clears throat> so super duper easy, easy breezy. Something like that, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it already. I love it, I love it and I haven't even properly done much to it. All right, so we've got the, oh my gosh, that's so cute. Can't even, can't even, so that'll be the front and the back, like that. Maybe we'll put a pocket on the inside. Do I have a pocket die? I felt like I thought I had a pocket die somewhere. Where is it? Oh, maybe it's not a pocket die. Maybe it's a bag die. A little bag die, let's see. So this is a Sizzix, Sizzix little treat bag set. Um, but I think I can use it. It'll fit in here for a pocket. I'll do that, I'll do that later. Let's get this, um, everything trimmed first. So we should do, should we do the inside with the swimsuits too? I don't know, I don't know. It's just the cutest, cutest paper in the world. Let's do some of these so some of my pages can be 
this pattern. So super simple, five by five guys, five by five. And just use something that's a little bit heavier weighted for your front and back covers. If you have a box of cereal, you can use that and then just cover it up with your paper. Oh, I don't know if you guys answered the question about which holiday you have or which season you have the most the most of in your stash, if that makes sense. Like, are you really into autumn? Are you really into springtime? Maybe you love Christmas. All right, so I wanted to use these acetate pieces, which are from definitely from Heidi Swap. I don't remember what they're what they're for. <laughs> like I don't know if they're planner dividers. I'm not sure. But uh, we can use that. So I just need to trim these down so that they fit. Are they five? Yeah, they're already five inches in width. So like, I have no idea what these are for. Were they for maybe like journal, a journaling line? I don't know, but they're cool, I like them. So we shall use them. Um, this one's kind of in the center. So I'm just gonna trim that down. Again, two, five, five by five. So then we have that, and we can flip that like that. Nice. I can do the other side, every other page, maybe something like that. Cool, cool, cool. I feel like this needs a, a ribbon closure so I can so I'll find some ribbon and glue that underneath here so that I can close my, my little mini album. All right, um, what else? Maybe I should hole punch now. That'd be a good next step. I wish I had more paper. I have hot pink, which let's see if I'm feeling the hot pink with the blue on the inside, maybe. Mm. Kind of yes and kind of no. I wish I had a different, a different shade of pink. That would help. I also got this blue. That is too blue. I feel like I don't, like I don't have enough paper. Like I have, I have so much, um, what do you call it? I have so many scraps of paper, <laughs> but I don't have very many like full size paper, if that makes any sense. It's, it's weird. I don't know if you're like that. <laughs> Wendy says, okay, I'm gonna search for it. I know I still have it. You, yeah, it's in your, I think you put it in your journal, like your planner. So if you have your 2000, what year was that? 2016 planner or 2015, it's in there. <laughs> Kate says that acetate is awesome. Catherine says, I would say winter, spring, summer, and autumn. <laughs> Lynn says she has a mixture of stash, Christmas card stock is used for lots of gift boxes, but as for ephemera, assorted themes. Wendy says, Hodgnet, you missed what I'm searching for. Oh, what are you searching for? Wait, is it the, no, I have that picture, the vacuum one where I'm vacuuming. <laughs> uh, I do have that one, Wendy. You are not allowed to post that online. <laughs> Just kidding. I have that, I have a copy of that somewhere. I don't know why I have it. Did you send it to me, maybe? 
I think you did. Let me see. I have it. It's in this planner. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No, I think it just fell. Um. I don't know why I have a picture of Alexis. Did she send this to me? <laughs> uh, there's, there's a Sizzix, Sizzix team. There's little Instax. There's Wendy. There's me. And Jill. And Debbie. Um, so. Where is that picture? I've seen it recently. And it was printed out. Nope. No, I don't know where it is. Yeah, it's me vacuuming. They had a cool vacuum. What the heck? <laughs> that's my senior picture. Don't know why that's in there. I don't even know how I got that. <laughs> where it came from. I didn't think I brought it with me. Weird. Um, so, yeah, they had like a, it was a, it was the coolest vacuum because it, you put it on your backpack. Or like on, a, like as a backpack. <laughs> oh, looked great. And it was so fun to vacuum with it. It did, I did feel like a Ghostbusters. Hello, Sarah DeSantis. How are you? Okay. Um, time to find some ribbon to seal the deal on this. On this new album. Let's see what I got. like hmm. I never know what it is oh it's fine that's fine you're fine we're fine mmm the ribbon I have is too thin like I have this delicate like one millimeter wide ribbon right I don't know I feel like it'd be way too small Wouldn't that be way too small? It feels way too small. It feels like it's overwhelmed, like my mini album will overwhelm it. I don't have much of a ribbon selection. I have lots of twine, but then again, twine would be too, again, it would feel too small. I have this piece of ribbon, but then that feels too big and it doesn't feel summery. So maybe, maybe we won't put any ribbon. Oh wait, I see some more ribbon. In one of my mini bags. <laughs> pink. We got some pink. Some purple. See, that's kind of a better size. Blue, blue. Surely one of these will work. Surely, let's see. This one. Mm -hmm. Maybe this blue one. Maybe the blue one. I don't know. I guess it doesn't have to have a closure. It can just be a free, free floating, free flying. Kind of album. Sorry, guys. I feel like I just wasted your time deciding on whether to have a ribbon closure or not. So let's just get to gluing. Let's get this thing assembled. So let me just put the. Let's put the cover on. And then I can start hole punching this guy together. I have that summertime song by Sublime in my head. The summertime living, living, living ZZ. Summertime. <laughs> I'm not gonna sing for you. <laughs> but that's the song I have in my head. So. 
so cute. Okay, so now it is time to hole punch. Let's have that. Now for hole punching, I'm just gonna eyeball it. I really should measure it. So we'll do one here. And then one. That looks about right. And then we'll just use that as a guide for the rest. And then we can start decorating. Oh, it's acetate so hard to punch. And then we can start decorating the rest. I should do two of these pages at a time. Should do. Isn't that pretty with the acetate? It's so pretty. The acetate and the pattern background and the sentiment. It's so nice. Make sure that's right side up. Now, if you don't have binder rings, you can bind this with some twine, like just tie a ribbon through it or a piece of like scrap fabric. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what the heck? My thing just broke. Oh no, no, <laughs> why, why? You know what, I'm actually surprised it lasted this long because it's like a dollar tree. I wonder if it still punches. It's a, it was a Dollar Tree, um, Dollar Tree punch. Let's see. Oh, hey, it does. <laughs> that's good. I'm glad that didn't like hit me in the face or something terrible like that. Mm. Well, at least it still works. Hey, you don't need, you don't really need these metallic pieces in your hole punch. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? I mean, it's, it's a substantial part of your design. I'm sure there's a way to figure out how that went in there. <laughs> anyway, anywho. Let's put this back together. So that's our front cover. We'll put this is the inside. That's the first thing you see. And then every other one. Put that one there. And that's the back. It's not upside down. That is good news. And there is our little base. Let me see if I can find my binder rings. Highly doubt. I have about three binder rings. <laughs> Just three. And they're all spread out somewhere. Because for some reason I don't like to keep everything in one spot, I guess. Ooh, we'll use these little clothespins that I think, was that Maria that sent those to me or? Uh, crafty Becky. Find a ring, yay! <laughs> so cute. A little tassel. Oh no, that's like a paper clip that I put a tassel on the end of. But I can get rid of that. Ooh, another binder clip. That's all I needed, a binder ring. Binder ring, not binder clips. Some more little doodahs. A little pom pom. I don't know if pom poms feel very uh, summery. What do you guys think? A flamingo clip? Yes, please. That is definitely summer. Cool. I'm so excited I found those binder rings. <laughs> My life feels complete. 
<clears throat> I've got the little bow that I made. My little bow die, which I might use. Oh, yellow bow. That seems better suited. Here's a yellow one. That feels definitely more summery. All right. So I just have a box of hodgepodge things. Just a bunch of random stuff. A tassel. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I need to stretch my legs. Let's see how we're going to decorate this front side. This coast. I don't want to cover up the bikinis. too cute to cover so I'm gonna have to try to find just the right exact thing to not cover those up. Maybe just a little sentiment. It'll have to be a little itty bitty sentiment. All right. Hello Laura and Nancy. How are you? Um, Sarah is doing good. Hope you're feeling better today. Missed you and everyone on Wednesday. Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I do feel a lot better than Wednesday. So I'm happy. <laughs> um, Sarah Louise says, Ooh, those two colors look so pretty together with the costume colors. Costume colors? By Catherine and Wendy. Oh, Catherine and Wendy have left. Grindelia Boundron says, what are the names of those flower dyes? Which flower dyes? These ones? These here? These are from um, the Filigree and Floral die set. It's linked in the video description. So it comes with this whole thing. But it's cool because you can do a 3D flower. Like it pops up. Like that. So I have the link in the video description and you can see, um, if you click the link, you can see all like the inspiration and what else you can do with the die. So I think, I don't know if that's what one you're asking about. Ooh, Laura won something fun. <laughs> Laura says, I have so many binder rings, it's ridiculous. Laura says, you and I, Jeanette, need to invest in a We Are Memory Keepers punch. <laughs> I'm not sure I find all the tools and things overwhelming. Uh, and if you need me, let me know. I can be easy. I want my size so don't over the date. Aw, you guys are so sweet. Oh, you won the new Craft Consortium collection. Which one? The circus one? Is there a different one out? All right. Let's get to decorating this thing. At least get one page done. Uh, close that. All right. Feeling good. Feeling hopeful. Let's put our little rings on them. My last two binder rings. I just don't want a thousand binder rings, guys. I just need, like the brads, I don't want a thousand brads. I just need six, maybe nine. Eh, why can't I open this? Mm. Oh my gosh, I can't open it. 
what is happening with my life? <laughs> mm. I cannot open this one. I don't know why. Why? My eye fingers are all red. Okay. I will try again later. But yep, there it is. Super easy, breezy, kind of, kind of binder, uh, mini album. So now we can start decorating the inside. Cool stuff. This pattern kind of hurts my eyes a little bit. Not because it's ugly, just because it makes my retinas move around weird. I don't know. So we can put these little sentiments here. Yay, vacay. So cute. I think I need to trim this down. It's a little bit too big. Put a little bow on it, maybe. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, I wonder if I have washi tape. That's kind of summery. I think I have like a little like bikini print washi tape. Which would be good to add to this. I need to build some pockets for this, which I think I can do. Just put a little clippy here. Can even do that. Just clip it. Just clip it. Need some photos. Ah! I got it. I don't know why I was struggling so much earlier. Mm -hmm. I'm scared of getting my skin caught in it. And that would be the worst. Oh my gosh. Why is this so hard? <laughs> That's good enough for now. Look how cute that is. So cute. Love it. So I can make a... I should do a pocket. A pocket with this one. be really cute but then I would need to die cut this with like a semi like a circle die to have a little envelope thingy there which I guess I could but then that would mean I have to open my binder rings again which I guess is fine it's fine that's cute there let's commit to that Ooh, I need to get my little washi tape. Also, an apology to Tracy Martindale. I still haven't sent out your prize. Or Louise Cole. Oh, jeez, Louise. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I'm going to have to just find, like, a big paper bag. <laughs> and just, uh and just send it in that, like wrap it in that because otherwise you're never gonna get your albums that you won. But I am gonna send you something extra for sure because I feel so bad it's taking this long, <laughs> months to get your prize. Look at that little bikini washi tape, it's so cute. So, so cute. There it is, it should come back. Sorry guys. Are we back? We're back. That was so weird. I don't know why I did that. Whoa. Okay. So let me put some adhesives. This is two pages that I'm going to 
glue together to make a pocket. You should probably use red liner tape for this. Um, but I don't know where my red liner tape is. And I'm too lazy to look, I'm too tired to look for it. So we're just gonna put some adhesive here on three sides. One, two, like that. All right, and then I grab my die cutting machine. I'm gonna find a little circle die in my stash of dies. Should have one somewhere. So I can cut a little notch into it. I'm looking through my bag of little dies. <laughs> oh, zippy bag. So I know I have a circle die here somewhere. See? This one might be too big. And there's one. That's not too big. That should do. Oh no, but it has to be smaller because it's not gonna go through. Oh no, it is, it is, Never mind. So I'll go there. All right. So, we've got that there. Looking good. Let me secure that with the washi tape because you know that's gonna shift even though I have a magnetic platform underneath. Ooh, it's hungry time, guys. I'm getting hungry. Laura has over 600 rolls of washi tape. That's crazy. Crazy cool. Ooh, I like this washi tape on that paper. Looks cool. All right. Now we have being gentle because I don't want to tear tear my thing. Hey, that's pretty centered. I'm pretty impressed. So then we have a little pocket. Um go it's actually it looks kind of big <laughs> that's all right see that one is so easy to close this one is just like stubborn angry person angry find her ring <laughs> Also with your mini album, if you're making one like this, you might want to reinforce these holes. Um, be with like one of those grommet puncher thingies. <sighs> Son of a biscuit. It's not doing it. <laughs> My fingers hurt. <laughs> My fingers hurt. <laughs> that reminds me of uh, Adam Sandler movie. All right, we need a little something to slide in there. So we're gonna trim, we'll put some of this bikini stuff in there. Bikini paper. So the big thing is five by five. So I'm gonna make this four by four. Maybe four and a half. Let's do four and a half by four and a half to make sure it fits in there. If you're ever making like a mini album from scratch, try to use, <laughs> I use easy measurements, like things that are gonna be easy to remember. You know, so this is five by five. Super easy, the cover on the front was four by four, no, four and three quarters by four and three quarters. So then this can go in there. Oh, it might have to be smaller. Or maybe not. All 
Oh, I think it does have to be smaller because I forgot about these rings here. I forgot about the rings. All right, let me trim this down just a little bit more. So we'll make it four. Should we just do an even four? Let's do an even four. Wait, do I want to do it for? No. Nah. It looks too small. Let's see. No, I think that's right. That's better. See? There we go. Lynn says, it's torrential outside. <laughs> Lynn says, oh, Jeanette, have you another binder ring to swap? The struggling is too much with that. It is. And unfortunately, I do not have any more binder rings. I guess this is why you want to have more than three binder rings in your stash. <laughs> it's just, you shall submit to me. You shall obey. I need like a, what do you call it? An oven mitt. It's like I can do it while my fingers are just raw. You shall obey. <laughs> I think I need to get Justin out here and help me. <laughs> Nancy says, I love that little card that says West Coast, is that a stamp? Oh no, it's um, it's a card from, it was from a set. I wanna say these two came together, like a whole sheet of summary sentiments and it might've come with this one too. It was really gorgeous. Um, I don't remember what it's from though, what collection it's from, but it's so cute. It's so cute, summer. Let me see if I have any photos to add to this album. some palm trees. <laughs> That'll do. And I have some succulents, which feel very summery. like vacay picks, vacation picks. Which, which I need to print out some pictures. Cause yeah, I don't have any, I have quarantine pictures. I have this one of Justin and I in Greece. That's pretty summery. Maybe I should just put summer pictures throughout the years in there. This is one of me and my mommy, California, in Corona Del Mar. So maybe those can go in there. Hey, that will do. <laughs> I'm officially giving up on that on that binder ring for now. Um, let's move on. I need to trim, trim this one up a bit. Let's see what else I got over here. Smile. Mm. 
discover. Maybe. Hello, sunshine. This feels like a task for my Tim Holtz. Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher. Where is that guy? Maybe some twine. What about some twine? What time is it, guys? Oh, it's almost time to go. Because I'm hungry. So hungry. I wish I had yellow twine. That'd be cool. I thought I had some yellow twine before, but I might have used it all. What's next Saturday? Next Saturday is July 4th, huh? Okay, I definitely want to do like a red, white, and blue kind of thing next week. That'd be fun. Maybe I'm leaning towards black. We'll just throw some twine in here. Why not? Let me use my little stapler to staple this guy. There's fine. Glue this down. Maybe I'll use some washi tape. Um, when I'm when I'm gluing down pictures into like journaling layouts or uh, mini albums or anything like that, I kind of don't like to put. Um, I don't like to glue them down. Like I, <laughs> I don't know. I feel in case I want to swap them out. So usually we'll washi tape, washi tape them. We can use this washi tape. It's nice. It's got some little globes on it. twine around it because why not? Thank you guys for your patience today. I really feel a little discombobulated. Like my hole punch fell apart. Binder wearing won't work. <laughs> Good times. This is a little crooked. It's bothering me. And it's probably bothering Tra Is Tracy here today? I thought I saw her name, but now I don't know. No, I might have been just imagining it. But Tracy would definitely not like it if it's crooked. <laughs> um, let me find some sentiment alpha stickers. got these which I think are very when in doubt go with craft colored things um I got an S I got a U I got W's but I can use those as M's and I got an E and I got an R so that would be good for the front cover which I still don't know what to do with the front don't want to cover I don't want to cover it. It's too cute. Mm, maybe I can hole punch that. Put it there. And I can say summer. And then technically I'm not really covering it. Let's see how that works. R, spelling backwards, E, no M's, but I've got W's, so 
I use those. And and you S. What does that spell, Summer? Twine on the front. Blue. Red. Do I have pink? I think I have pink, but I don't know. For some reason, it's not in my twine bucket. Oh, there's some pink. I need to new. Maybe all three. Nah, looks weird. It feels weird. Maybe the black. Black and white. You can't go wrong with black and white and craft. Kind of goes with everything. So we'll tie some twine twice. Wrap it around. Tie a little bow. Ooh, where's the little tassel? Let's see what that tassel looks like. Where'd you go? Where did I throw it? Maybe we'll thread it through, see what it looks like. So I have this little tassel. Is that Deb? Hi, Deb. How are you? I'm making a summer mini album. Super easy, easy breezy. I think I cut my twine through too small. Can't seem to tie it, but I can always cut more. Cut another piece. Let's just see what it looks like. <sighs> Put it up there. Doesn't feel right. It's cool. We'll just slide it off. We can add this guy. My little um. Flamingo, flamingo friend, we can put him there for now. Okay, let's try that twine again. Maybe no tassel. <clears throat> so I'm just tying, um, wrapping the twine around this one. Now the great thing about this is if I don't like it, I don't have to commit to it. It's a risk-free trial, guys. Because I'm not gluing anything down. You know what might work on the front is some vellum. So if I stamped some vellum, it won't cover up the pattern on the bikinis, and then I can do like a little sentiment. Just something like that, see? Doesn't have to be complicated. That'll work. I can put it up top. But on the bottom is better. So this piece of acetate was a list of leftover from, um, from earlier. My broken punch. which still works. <laughs> oh no, the ring fell out. giving up. <laughs> I'm not giving up on that one.
Okay, it might have to be some vellum for sure. Let's grab some, see what it looks like. I think I'm running out of vellum already, which I don't know how. I just bought some not too long ago. Did I run out? Is this? This isn't my vellum. This is some kind of weird acetate. I wonder if this is printable acetate. Or heat embossed heat. No, heat resistant acetate? I really should have not thrown away the packaging on that. Let's see, little vellum. Yeah. Soften the look. I'll be able to put something on the front, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It needs something. It needs something else on the front. But I just don't know what. It'll come to me. Ooh, you guys are talking about food. I'm so excited for my sushi. All right, so that was a little bit of a summary fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Definitely not in this color, but maybe I could add some flowers there. Something else. So easy, super easy. Again, the base is um, the base and the pages, sorry, the cover and the pages are just five by five. And then I just hole punch them, put a binder ring, one cooperative ring, and one not so cooperative. Use these little clips that I think Maria Husk sent me. Sorry if it wasn't Maria. Or maybe it was Crafty Becky. I made the pockets. that there. Do I have an N? No, I don't have an N. Can I cut the M to make it look like an N? Nope. See like with Q's you can cut this to make it an O. And same with the R's, you can make them into P's if you really need them. But I wanted to spell, spell fun, but I don't have an N. I wanted to put like fun here, spell fun. All right, so much for that idea. So yeah, pretty good, pretty good. I can add more of this to add more to this later. Well underway, summertime fun, cool stuff. I hope you guys are inspired to just make your own little mini album. Super easy to do. Nothing crazy. It's terrible resolution on that photo, by the way. <laughs> All right, cool, 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 cool. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Um, really, really appreciate it. Thank you for your patience today. I'm hoping that you like this little album. <laughs> Nancy says, yuck. Sorry, I hate sweet tea. I like sweet tea. I didn't used to, um, but I do like it. Especially when you put um, milk in it. Like an ice, ice sweet tea with milk in it. Kind of reminds me of like a Thai tea. Anywho... So thank you, Jeanette and ladies, for your company. Album looks great. Thank you, thank you. Deborah says that is not how tea is consumed here. <laughs> uh, Louise Cole says, love this, Jeanette. I will definitely be making one. Thank you, Seaman in the Lounge. Yeah, 
I'll see you guys in the lounge. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for your well wishes. It felt a little lackluster today, but I'm hoping by next Wednesday, I'll be back to 100%. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Stay safe. I'll see you guys in the lounge for the after party. And I'm going to fix that. Fix that unruly binder ring. <laughs> Take care, you guys. Bye.